Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to use Meta at Manager app. So make sure to stick around to the end to get all the info and all the tips. So we're going to open our Meta at app and right here, you have the main dashboard. At the bottom, you have three options. The first option is of course, your main dashboard or the homepage. And then the next option is recommendations. Here, you can see recommendations that are going to help you optimize your ads and make the necessary adjustments to help your ads to get more views. You could, of course, view the details or you could decide to turn it on. So the second tab on the recommendations is applied. On the this tab, you will see all the recommendations that you have applied. And then at the top right corner, still on the recommendations, you have the settings gear icon. So when we tap on it, you can see some options here for you. Now you can enable automatic adjustments. This means that when this is toggled on, your ads would be automatically adjusted to improve visibility and performance. So you can see the different categories. The other option, of course, is to select which ad you would like to have on automatic adjustments. You have about five of them, the campaign structure, audience, creative format, delivery engagement, and spend and schedule. All of the settings are aimed to help you see how you can optimize the performance of your ads. Now, when we go back and look at the bottom, the third option is the help option. Now, the help option here, you can find recommended articles that can help you to understand or troubleshoot any issues you may have. It also gives you the opportunity to look at articles that will educate you on how to use meta ads more efficiently. Over here, you can see the option to search. For example, you have here, how can we help you? So you could search for articles here and you have some options that you can select such as budget duration. So if we tap on budget, we're going to have some options that will come up all under budgeting. And then when we go back home, we can see our dashboard where we have the total amount spent the spending limit if you've set it already and the current list of campaigns that you have. So all you need to do is to keep scrolling to find an ad which you might be interested in. If you don't want to scroll, you have the search option here which you could use to search for a specific ad. You also have the icon here to change the format. So when we tap on it just beside the search icon, you have the option to sort through your ads. You're going to see the results, the budget, the costs per result, amount spent, reach, impressions, etc. Right here at home, you have the option at the top right corner to click on the add button. Of course, when we click on the add, this means that we want to create a new campaign. Here, you could select the campaign that you're interested in and go ahead to personalize it according to your needs. Then at the top, you have create new, which we're currently under, and you could create from existing. And then lastly, when we go to the top corner and we click on the gear icon, it's going to take us to our billing and payments. Now here we're going to have a list of the different payment options we have already set up. Now, if you intend to add a payment method, you're going to look at the top right corner where you're going to tap on the gear icon once again, and then you're going to have more options. The first option is billing and payments, which you can go through in order to add your funds or add payments. As you can see here, add funds, add payments. Now, if you have some issues with payments, you can go down to the bottom and you can get payment support or go to help center. You could also set your account spending limit, account payment activity, business info, and your payment threshold. Now, when we go back, we can see under notifications, we can set the notifications to customize them to our needs. And under general, you have some other options such as the theme, the in-app sound. If you want to report a problem, you can do just that. And then you're going to see a list of accounts which is connected to your Meta Ads Manager app. And then you could go through those accounts and make your edits. And then lastly, if you wish to deactivate or delete a Facebook account, you can go ahead and tap the last option there where you have deactivate or delete Facebook account. All of these tips and insights will help you in using your Meta Ads Manager app in a more efficient way.